Hey everyone, you might recognize me and Eric here from the Nintendo Prime Podcast. I just want to let you know before you get into this segment that this merchandise you see on our shirts and on our cups and on anything else you ever see with Nintendo Prime branding on it, you can get in the description below. You can also get the full audio podcast not segmented in the description below. And if you would like early access to our podcast, please go over to patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. For $5 a month, you gain early access to the full audio podcast. And well, Mr. Eric, what do you get for $20 a month? Ooh, you get to join us on a podcast. That is right. So, if you would like to ever be on the Nintendo Pride Podcast, get your voice in front of thousands of other Nintendo fans out there. You know what to do. Hit up that $20 tier on Patreon. Anyways, folks, on to the episode. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Another episode, this one getting back to the roots of the Eric and Nate experiment. That's <laughs> what this podcast felt like for so long. No guests this week, we had one person we were going to kind of get on, but timing didn't really work and I wanted to make sure we got this episode in because it's been a couple weeks and my goal right now is to get at least one episode in every other week. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to our Patreon goal. We have someone who, even on... Uh, YouTube the other day said they were going to be a $20 supporter soon. Uh, and nice. if they do that, nice. that's going to put us close to 70 bucks. That means we're like a $20 and a couple supporters away from hitting our goal to make this weekly. So that's exciting. Yeah. And obviously, you know, $20 a month on Patreon.com lets you come on the podcast, which is really, really cool. Uh, I also started a new thing this week. And I've been advertising a little bit in some other videos, so I apologize if you've heard it already. But I started this new thing at gawkbox.com slash Nintendo Prime. There'll be a link down, down in the description. Because we know, I know a lot of, we have a lot of younger viewers, a lot of people who are like me and just are broke all the time. But you still want to support your favorite content creators. So Gawkbox lets you, as long as you have a smart device, you just download some apps. And, they, and they're, the people who made the apps will tip me um, for you guys just basically downloading apps and playing games. Uh, if you ever play mobile games before, sometimes like I play tap baseball, there'll be like you can go in and earn free gold by like downloading mm-hmm. apps and stuff. It's kind of like that, except it seems a lot simpler. Um, I'm actually kind of, you know, interested. In, I almost wanted to cheat the system myself. I'm not. I'm not allowed to tip myself, but like I want to because one of the apps I can download is that Final Fantasy 15 game. Oh yeah. And if I get yeah. to level 25 in that one, I make like. Along the way, I end up making over a hundred dollars. <laughs> nice. So it's like, oh, I spent three dollars, but I made a hundred. But yeah, I can't, I can't do that for yeah, me. No, no. So, uh, but yeah, it's just a, a really cool way. Uh, and plus, some of the games aren't that bad. Like if if you're someone who likes Angry Birds, and maybe there's some Angry Bird games you haven't played. There's a couple different Angry Bird apps on there you can download. Uh, it, it's just a really interesting way to support your favorite content creators, which hopefully we're one of them. Uh, without having to spend any money. And heck, as you're listening to this podcast, you just kind of do do away. I mean, some of the donations are or donations. Some of the tips are as low as like 30 cents, and some of them are as high as like $100. So it's all about what interests you. Obviously, I'm never going to encourage you to download things you have no interest in. That's dumb. Don't download things that don't interest you. But if you right. want to support us, it's a quick, easy, free way to do it. Now, are these all free downloads or yes. are they paid downloads? Everything is free. Okay. The idea is that you do not have to pay anything to support us. Right. So, obviously, like the one in the Final Fantasy 15 game or whatever, you're probably not getting to level 25 without spending some money. So, like, or you have unless, to go unless you next. have, uh, like, mass amounts of time on your hands <laughs> yes a lot of time on your hands and i i just wanted to get it done in 10 minutes so y- yeah it was worth yeah. the three dollars for my my other name but right, anyways right. yeah so that's just a way to support us otherwise we always encourage people go to patreon.com slash nintendo prime literally just five dollars a month you get early access to our podcast um i do have a few patreon exclusive posts i'm trying to get more and more active with patreon we just hit 10 patrons uh so we finally hit double digits and that's Woo. awesome. Like, I never thought there'd be 10 people who give a give enough crap enough about the podcast to, like, actually go to Patreon and support us. Because the Patreon, uh, it actually supports the whole channel, but right now, until we hit that $100 goal, it's all about the podcast. So once we hit the podcast goal, I'll start adding new tiers for different types of content I plan to be creating, maybe some retrospectives um, and some other stuff like that that takes longer. Uh, it's not necessarily like a news report or a discussion. Something that actually takes some time um, I'm not that those don't take time, but I can get those done like on the daily, 
versus something that might take me a week or two of editing and research. Um, I think you guys would be really interested in that kind of content, expanding what we do. But first thing first, podcast needs to hit that $100 goal that we have. Right. So getting into the actual podcast now, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a bit of a weird podcast because this is probably the most unprepared podcast I say we have. And that's really crazy considering well, this is podcast number 33. We, we've had some wild ones in the past. At least in a while. Most wild, unprepared wild, wild. we've had, I have had literally in a while. no topic list. Uh, well, we have one. <laughs> one kind of sort of topic. But it's the the reason we're running with the Wild Wild West this week is just because there's been a lot that's happened. We, we had the, a Nintendo Direct since the last time we had a podcast, and we did do a reacts to that. Um, but we could touch on a little bit of that news. Uh, there was some Nindies thing, which uh, for the most part, uh, outside of you know Travis Strikes Again, it looks good. Like their indie games, they look great. Um, I will say, golf story, golf story, golf story, golf story, golf story. You have no idea what I'm talking about. It is basically Mario Golf RPG. You know what? I may have seen something about it's that. But it's supposed to be coming out this month, but there's really? no release date. Well, they only got what eight days left. Yeah, so, <laughs> so sometime within the next week. Yeah, look for it's, it. It's, <laughs> I am so pumped for golf. Everything that comes out about it, I'm like, oh my god, this is this is Mario Golf RPG on crack, and I am so pumped. You can just drop a ball and hit it anywhere. Oh, this nice. Is a he- heck of right. Oh, I'm practicing. Wow. Oh, I don't like you. I hit you with a ball. It, it's got like full stories arc and nice. like quests and all the stuff. Nice. And as you're traveling and playing through eight courses to become like the golf champion, I was like, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's everything I want. In, uh, it's everything I always wanted Mario Golf to, to be and Mario Tennis. Yeah, but, uh, those were fun games too. But then they're you know then they stripped it all down and now you're, now they're more like arcade style uh, sports games, which I understand have an appeal. Like like I always thought that Super Strikers, the soccer game for Mario, was fine. It was an arcade style game that was fine. But I always felt like that was like a separate thing from uh, the o- overarching uh, aspect. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just my monitors are yes. Yeah. Saving energy. Uh, sorry, Eric Letty was freaking out for a moment. I'd be like, uh, did your computer just shut off? No. Yeah. Computer's yeah. on. The monitors, I, I have them yeah. set up now, so I save a little money. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we, uh, it's something that I'm just glad exists because I feel like uh, it's something I know that I always wanted, but it's not something that I thought about much. Right. Uh, because I kind of just gave up on the, uh, once Nintendo gave up on it, I figured, oh, it's never happening. Again. Right, right. Um, but here we go. Golf Story, full RPG game based around golf. That actually does sound like a lot of fun. And like it's all sprites, and it just reminds you of the old school stuff. It's nice. It's so, so amazing. I'm going to have to look this up. Yeah. And the thing is, like, one thing we, you know, obviously we're talking about some indie stuff here. I feel like the Switch is really getting some awesome indie support. Mm-hmm. Like, Every game that comes out on it seems to be a high quality indie game. Right. Um, I'm not, that doesn't mean that every indie game is good. I have not played every indie game on Switch, so I don't know. But every game that seemingly has come out has just been fan. I mean, Thumper was really, really good. In fact, if anyone's doubting HD Rumble, because you know a lot of games don't take good advantage of it, play Thumper. Oh my God, it's like an entirely different experience, and it's available in VR and other systems. And I know people love it. I'm telling you, if we had VR on Switch with the HD Rumble, it you and mine would be blown because HD Rumble, it's like, it's, it's just perfect for that game. Hmm. Um, and that's just one example. Obviously, there, there's other indie games that use HD Rumble as well, but Thumper it really fits in with that kind of kind of game. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we just had Steam World Dig Two come out and. The only reason I even know that it came out, because I'm not someone who, who pays a ton of attention to when indie games come out anymore. Um, I just kind of check the eShop once in a while, and hey, look, the reason I know about this is because someone asked me in the comments, you know, am I going to buy it? Well, it's 20 bucks. That's that's the putting me off part, because 20 bucks in an indie game, um, that's not, you know, super expensive, but I started thinking of, like, B-tier indie games. There. I started thinking of games like Ukulele, um, more upper echelon of the indies. But the thing is, the SteamWorld Dig 2... Is getting like perfect tens, hmm. like everywhere. Wow! And I'm like, I didn't play the original. So that's the thing. If I played the original, then I would be right. like, oh, it's probably worth twenty bucks, hands down. Right. But right. I didn't play the original, so it's like, and apparently this game is just way better than the first one ever was. Like, there were several reviewers that said, even if you've never played, pick this one up. 
Huh. So I'm like, and that you don't hear too often because no. And I'm I'm like a couple bucks short on the eShops or whatever. I can I could probably buy it right now if I want because I have like eighteen dollars left over from a fan donation. Thank you so much, by the way, for the fan who who donated for me to get Sonic Mania. Um, God, you gave way too much money, man. By the way, this isn't like a thing. Like, do not be giving me eShop credit. I I do not want this to become a thing. If I can't afford games, I can't afford games. That's my problem. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the, the indie games on Switch are. For as much talk as I've done lately of third-party games, because there's been a lot of third-party game announcements uh, and AAA announcements, and I just made a video, uh, well, I guess when this goes up last week, on you know how third parties no longer have an excuse to not make games on Switch. Right. We've hit a point now where we, we can't just ignore the indies because, right, right. oh, my God, are they releasing good game after good game. I mean, they're releasing games that you might want to play more than a AAA game. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, I, I, a lot of the stuff that I've seen, even with the like the Nintendo Direct, it was like, that game actually looks pretty good. That game actually looks pretty good. That game looks pretty good. Right. So it's it there's it's kind of amazing though that they can at least make it look good. You know, to, the old school feeling, but still new school look type thing. Oh, I love it. It, it. What they do with indie is so so awesome. It's almost. Um, you know, I mentioned it briefly before. I feel like indies are almost the the revival of the B tier of gaming. Because mm-hmm. for a long time, B tier just kind of went away. Your earthworm gems of the world and all that stuff. Basically, once the move to 3D happened, it suddenly wasn't so easy to make those games because everyone expected 3D games. Right. And right. indies, you know, came back around around the Wii, DS, PlayStation 3 era, and suddenly. Uh, People start realizing, hey, people still like playing those kind of games. Yeah. No one, yeah. Just, no one was making them anymore. Right. Right. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I'm just so thrilled with how the indie lineup is looking on Switch, uh, and obviously some of these games or a lot of these games are also available on PC. Uh, some of them are exclusive to the Switch. Some of them are only console exclusive to the Switch, but it's still overall um, a very interesting place to be with Switch. Taking the stuff on the go, putting it on your TV. Uh, Switch is just a very Unique system, uh, not unique in that it's the first thing to ever try doing this. Right. But unique in that it's the only one to be successful at it. Right. Uh, right. So I'm I'm pretty pumped. Uh, but we talked about AAA for a second, and I know you guys are probably like sick of me complaining about NBA 2K18. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I get it. Okay. And I get that some of my complaints, you might be like, well, if you didn't play the game on other platforms, you maybe you won't. Okay. That's fine. But I think here's my issue with NBA 2K18 overall. After an experience that we had last night, it was very infuriating. Um, twice last night. Yeah. Twice last night. That's why it makes it even worse. Right. When we think we fixed it, we really didn't because I, I screwed up my own team apparently. Yeah. We, apparently I had an injury, but I can't get injured. No, so you I, didn't I, have, I didn't have enough players. No, you didn't have enough players. So, Here's the here's the deal. But you couldn't sign players. Here's yeah. the deal. I played a hell of a lot of NBA 2K17 on Xbox last year, and I loved it. There wasn't hardly any uh, major bugs, or and I'm sure some people will be like, "Oh yes, there was." Yes, there was. I didn't encounter the major bugs. Mm-hmm. I played every single mode in the game and had a fantastic time with all of it. So when I'm playing the demos of of NBA 2K18 on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and then I'm comparing it to my experience with the full game on Switch, obviously a lot of the time I'm running into issues, or most of the issues is on Switch because those issues weren't in the demos. So things like the My Career mode, where the frame rates drop down to like 10 or less in the cutscenes, uh, and suddenly... You know, you, you'll you hear the audio at normal speed, but then it takes like 10 minutes for the video to catch up, and you just sit there and you can't skip it. So you're listening to nothing as you're watching these guys slowly animate all around. It's really annoying. Um, and probably, funny, obviously, probably funny to watch the first time through. And obviously I didn't see that in the demos on the other systems because the demos cut off before you got to those cutscenes. Right, right. Uh, so, you know, I, it was my natural assumption, a bad one, that those didn't have that issue, but apparently all of them have that issue. And I, I I've come to some realizations here that... I think NBA 2K18 is just the worst NBA 2K game to come out in a long time. Just from uh, quality uh, check standards. 
They yeah. did not. Oh. Like we, we and the thing is, you and I play like Madden every year, right? right. So we know there's little quirks and little bugs. Um, right. There's still the little We're trade s- bug where you can just throw a crappy guy in there and hey, suddenly sh- pull off any trade sh- you want. Sh- um, don't don't tell them that. Don't tell oh, wait, them no, that. wait, never mind. They won't fix anything. What are you talking? What yeah. am I talking about? It's in franchise mode. Yeah, Remember, right. they touched franchise mode last year yeah. and gave us back. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, practice squad. Yep. They and know. The, well, see, that's useless they, anyways. They didn't touch uh, franchise mode this year, but yet somehow new bugs keep popping up. Yeah, I mean, the thing okay. is, the thing is, with us with Madden, at least when these bugs happen, we we expect it. <laughs> well, it's not just that we we expect it. We're used to it with Madden, and they're but not they're, game breaking. Bugs. Right, right. They're annoying. But, but you can work breaking. around them usually. Well, they're not game stopping. Like, like when oh your number, they might be game breaking. Your, your, your numbers stop appearing on your jerseys. Right, we right. Can still play. Right, they're, they might be game breaking in a f- sense that when we what you go a negative billion dollars in, in revenue and then all of a sudden you had a like a hundred million dollars in cap room or something like that. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Well, so game breaking in that, well, that sense. I don't know if that's game breaking because that no, must it, be it my, breaks the game. That just might be but the cost of my stadium. It, it breaks. It breaks the game, but it doesn't you, you stop the it. game. Yeah, you, you can, can still it. play through. Yeah, it. that's why I said I don't, it didn't break the game. It right. just it, it would just be a really weird bug. But there's always a workaround. Right. Um, and it, it's annoying, like adding five million to your funds at a time. Like, okay, come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. You should let me just add. Like, and there's little things, little quirks too that you figure they should fix in Madden as well. You know, yeah. like. Uh, when you're trying to sign players, like why can't I just? Why do I have to wait for a thing to tick up? Why can't I just change the numbers? Right, and they had it. And they, and they to took it away. It. And and that's and that's something that we. I mean, admittedly, last night was probably the most excited I gotten playing NBA 2K because I I, I played online games, I play matches, mm-hmm. I have a good time. I like NBA 2K games. I like the NBA, so like I I'm gonna like the NBA 2K games, but. I, I haven't played NBA 2K eight or NBA 2K uh, NBA Live eighteen. Um, it's not available on Switch, so maybe it's less buggy. I don't know. But as an example, last night I got super pumped because we were playing uh, a My GM mode my, or, or my, league. my League mode uh, where we could customize the whole league and do whatever, and, and we created our own teams. And, I mean, we were just super impressed because I haven't played a mode like that that had that much customization in a long time because I've, I've been playing on Madden, and Madden used to have that much. You used to be able to customize every aspect of your stadium, yep. every aspect of your jersey, yep. every aspect of your team. Yep. You, it was awesome. You could customize all this stuff, and then they just took it out one year. Yep. I, I think it was shortly after they got the contract with the yep. NFL. So they're like, oh, we don't have to you know, try to we don't impress, have to impress over, anybody, yeah. over, over NFL 2K anymore. Well, yep. uh, NBA doesn't have an exclusivity contract with 2K, so maybe that's why they still have it. I don't know, but it was really impressive. The, yeah, the oh, yeah, in, that, that, that part was. It was working yeah. flawlessly. We designed our own stadiums. It was sick, our own logos, our own yeah. color schemes, everything, your jerseys. It was just awesome. Um, it, it was like, oh, my God, this makes me not even want to play Madden anymore because of how right. awesome this is, right. like the attention to detail. Yeah. And I'm sure this has been in the game for a little while, so this probably isn't a new feature. But whatever, so we're playing, and, and you know, we're – well, we didn't actually play a game against each other because how we do how we do the leagues is that we just basically play the big end game championship. We try to get both our teams to the finals, so mm-hmm. we, we take over a team in each conference and try to go to the finals and, and build our rosters because we enjoy the simulation aspects. Yep. We love simulations and checking out the stats. Yep. Uh, we love managing teams. Yep. I, for some of you guys, like, oh, we're not even playing the game. I'm like, we are playing. That's how we. Yeah. we it's a sports simulation game. Right. If you're not into sports, you're not going to understand. Why it's so fun to manage your team, like, right? I'm, right. Like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, if I was the Packers, what move would I make? Right. Office? Exactly. Yep. So if I was the GM of the Bucks, what what move would I make? Yep. How would I get rid of Matthew Delladova and yep. John Henson to create cap space so I right. can sign a big free agent with Giannis next year? Right. There's going to be a big free agency pool. How can I convince Paul George to come to the Bucks or something? Right. Uh, so I like that aspect. I know it's all fantasy, but uh, guess what? I play fantasy football right. and NBA exactly. and baseball yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. I love this management aspect. So it's cool to try to build a team from the ground up, whether you're advancing rookies or trying to get big-name players. Like I, what sucked in the last one that we did is I finally got Kevin Durant. Yep, um, that you did. And then it screwed up, then, which I'm sure makes you yep. smile because now my team isn't this big ultra team. Um, but my, my team was getting pretty stacked. No, I know it was. I, I was probably yeah. – and the thing is – I, I had an opportunity for uh, cause I had Chris Bosch sign, yeah. who he's getting up there, but he was signed for like twenty five mil for one season, but he drops yeah. off and suddenly I have enough money to sign like another Kevin Durant guy. Right, right. Team. Oh, come on! I, imagine if I got Kevin Durant and LeBron James the same team, back to back off seasons. Boy. Oh. Anyways, 
Uh, so whatever, we're having fun, right? We are, are literally enjoying the game. Uh, we didn't even mind having the injuries on. We were managing the injuries. It was kind of interesting trying to actually manage a roster instead of just, yeah. you know, well, what we ended up doing the second time around where you didn't have to manage anything. There's no one could get we, hurt. Yeah, we just turned but injuries off. Let me off. explain why we turned injuries off. It wasn't because we wanted to, per se, although it makes simulating easier. <laughs> and trades off. Yeah. Trades off makes Trade, things Because the CPU just offers you bad trades usually. Oh, they're terrible. Just bad trades. But, or maybe it's just because I, I just didn't care who my... My right, ad, right. assistant GM yeah. was so yeah. He was he was the one finagling these deals. Yes. I'm like, yeah, no, no, no. no. You want to give me Steph Curry for like eight of my players? I'm cool with that. Right, but, right. Um, no, so that's besides we're the point. having fun, and we we're in the off season. We actually got through the first off season the first time, yep. just fine. Um, that's what was really frustrating about that. We were two seasons in, um, and you know. The second off season. You were building your team with youth. Yep. I was building my team through free agency. Yeah, it seems similar to Madden. <laughs> no, no, I go, I go so youth and yeah, Madden. Not, now too. you do. Uh, but, not always. But, Depends. Yeah, he there was, are certain players like you know, like a JJ yeah. Watts can be ninety nine well, for right, like seven right, seasons. Right. So, but you were just you were just sick of getting your butt whooped every year. So <laughs> he's decided to have to put and a little suddenly, bit of youth. In I've it. been better at Madden this year. It, 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 well, that I doesn't mean I you win this, 10 Super Bowls in a row. Well, that is very true. See? Well, we haven't had it for 10 Super Bowls in yeah, a row yet. we so. haven't played enough of it yet. But, no, so we're just having a good time. And really, like, for all you guys saying, oh, the game's good, I agree. Oh, yeah, NBA the game 2K18 is. NBA 2K18 is phenomenal. The, we were having a blast in this mode that I didn't even play uh, before talking about it. Because, uh, heck, you can even create your own player in there and then sign them. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, well, we, we can't we think. think. We can't, <laughs> no, you can create your own player. He, no, goes, we, he, goes, we, he gets yeah. added to the free agent pool. Yeah. So you can go out to the free agency and sign them. Maybe. You can't. Oh, well. <laughs> Just depends. I'm sure this, this, sure this gets the bug. So we're we're going through the, the period, and we get to the summer league portion of the offseason. And the offseason's great. It's very in-depth. I mean, there's even yeah, a, oh yeah, there's even sure. a thing where, like, rule changes could happen. Um, yeah, that would, <laughs> I mean, you could turn that off. Yes, I, I yes. left it on because that actually happens every offseason. They have votes like yeah. that. But whatever. You can turn it off. We... Like they changed the, the very first off season, we actually got through it all. Uh, they changed one rule from the takes ten seconds to get across the court to six. Six. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, I guess it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Right. I mean, more scoring. Yeah, that's the idea. It's, it's, yeah. the, it's the quick in the game, make it more entertaining. I understand. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, but that that kind of vote's never gonna pass in real life. No. But it, it's still just interesting how in depth it is. Player retirements and. Uh, how intricate the contracts are compared to the NFL, like qualifying offers and, mm-hmm. and team options and player options and restricted free agency. That's not a thing in the NFL. Yeah, it is. Restricted free agency? Yeah. Uh, it's not in Madden. Ye- yeah, probably not in Madden. No. But. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe in real life it is. It is. In, in Madden, the there's no restricted no. free agency. Like, this is how in-depth this game is. No, it I don't. is yeah. so close to what really happens in the NBA. Obviously, some things are unrealistic. Kevin Durant is never going to sign... With the team in Milwaukee. Yeah, no. Because I, I, I created my team in Milwaukee, so Milwaukee had two teams. Yep. Uh, and there's no way Kevin Durant signs there. I'm sorry. I'm a no-name team. I'm not like the Golden State Warriors that's already a championship contender. Right. Okay? I'm building right. a team of nobodies. Right. So you're not signing. But whatever. He, he signed. Um, so a little unrealistic in that way, but that's the fun of the simulation games is mm-hmm. that if you keep it completely realistic, it's not any fun unless you are playing with Golden State or you are playing with the Lakers or some team where players always want to go to. So it is it is fun being and you're like, oh well, the Bucks have Giannis, right? Yeah, that should attract third party or third parties should yeah. attract <laughs> third party should, should games. Attract free agents, yeah, except well, for it doesn't. Yeah, not, not yet. The Bucks. Not yet. Now, if the Bucks, you know, if they get yeah. to a title this year, yes, that's different. Or they get or to the Eastern Conference Finals, yeah, like uh, Boston did. That's different. Then they can right. attract like a Kyrie or a Gordon Hayward because yeah. then you feel like, oh, we're just one piece away. Right, right. And LeBron could be literally out of the Eastern Conference after this year. Yeah. You might run off to the Lakers or wherever next year. Right, so. right. Um, so, again, there is a, a, a small window if the Bucks somehow do the improbable and leapfrog Boston to get the Eastern Conference Finals. Right. Or leapfrog the Cavs somehow. Yeah. I thought we would have been a good matchup for the Cavs last year. That's why it sucked. That we were just a, not right. a good matchup yeah, yeah, for Toronto. For sure, for Toronto sure. was not a good matchup for us. We matched up way better with the Cavs in Toronto, but and it'd be nice if we can get to the playoffs with everyone healthy. Yeah, yeah, that would always help. I mean, I'm not saying that Jabari Parker would have made much of a difference because he wasn't that good but at he defense. He possibly could have. Because, because I mean, I feel like we made the playoffs because he got hurt because we suddenly got better on defense. But we got better on defense because Chris Middleton got back, so we don't. 
Yeah, right. I mean, right. Chris Miller and Tony Snell playing together massively improved our defense. Right. But, like, our defense would have just been better if Snell came off the bench as well. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Or or even Parker off the bench scoring a bunch of points. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's not just yeah. Greg Monroe doing all the scoring yeah, right. off the bench. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but playing starter minutes. Uh, well, 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 right. I, well, Thon Maker wasn't de facto, really ready. De facto starter. And then you just have Thon just drilling threes just for the hell of it. <laughs> right. Anyways. But, I can tell yeah. we love the NBA. That's what, like that's the thing. I love the NBA. Oh, yeah, that's what sure. You need to love these things or be really into them to enjoy sports simulation games. So we're going along the offseason. We get to Summer League the second year around. And we mostly just skim through or like sim through through summer league. We don't, you know, we don't really care about playing it. As again, we're, we're managing our teams, and these are mostly players that we don't care about. Yeah, we might have new rookies, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. They don't. Get a lot of times, better. those those guys go anyways. We're, we're just trying so. to get. We're basically trying to get to the free agency period, or that's after the free agency. But we're trying to get to the uh, training camp portion, yep. where we can choose what players we can upgrade based on how many you know points we get based on our coach and how well our team is done. So we try to sim past summer league. Houston Rockets have an injury. One, we're not controlling the Houston Rockets, right? Right. So, so some, some other team having an injury has zero impact on us. Right. We literally do not control them. So Houston Rockets has an injury, um, and they no longer have eight players to on their summer league roster. Their minimum eight players for their summer league roster. Please correct. Well, we can't because we're not no, the Rockets. We. No, 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 okay, yeah, right. but we're not the Rockets, yeah. so we can't fix this, so right. we're like, okay, cool, we'll go in there, um, and, you know, because there is, a, we've, we, this has happened before, where, like, there wasn't enough players on a team, happened with me the one year, and well, we, we made and trades, I, we made trades, because well, the, the previous offseason, yeah. I didn't have enough players, this is what's infuriating oh. about the second time around, when we went into, I remember I only had five players, we went, yeah. we went into it, and I said, you do not have enough players, and I said, well, fill, fill yeah. roster automatic, right, right. So it'll go off and sign a bunch of people that are, you know, minimum contract guys. Right. So, yeah, I did that. It, it worked. It worked fine. So I'm like, well, maybe it, we have that option for the Rockets here. I guess let's try that. Fill roster automatically. Nope, doesn't work. Yep. Doesn't work. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, is there any way we can turn off injuries? Well, we turn off injuries, and it doesn't do anything about people who are already hurt. That's yes. So I'm like, okay. So we can't fix the injury and just get them back on the roster. So, okay, is there a way I can just temporarily take over the Houston Rockets? Of course there is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is a, a, a you know, a, you control everything league if you want. Right. You know, we were right. only controlling our two teams, but if I want to control their teams again, so whatever, you go in and take over the Rockets. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that this is a pretty complex bug. Once you're in summer league, you cannot sign any new players. Right. So you get an injury yep. in summer league. Uh, unless somebody you, out there knows the way to do it, no, we just haven't figured no, that out. I went through everything. I, I know me. we did. But. You, when you are in that summer league, if you have a player get hurt, say you're selling that plays injuries on, a player gets hurt, there is no way to bring another player to your summer league roster. Mm-hmm. So you can't take anyone off your current roster. Yep. So oh, James Harden, I guess to go play summer league, just fill in. Mm-hmm. No, you can't do anything. You cannot get anyone from your current team, and you cannot sign any free agents. You can't do anything with your roster. Mm-hmm. In fact, the coach, the entire coach thing is blacked out. You yeah, can't, yeah, can't even right. touch coach. Which is weird. Because which is weird because I mean, would you be you coaching set, your? I want to set up my summer league. Coach it, yeah. Can I set up my summer league? No, no, you can't. So basically, the game is broken. Oh yeah. You could not move past summer league. You couldn't fix the, ro- the roster issue automatically. You couldn't fix it manually. There's nothing you could do about it. Mm-hmm. Your file that we put all this time into, second second season in, actually we're heading into our third season, Yep. Uh, second off season, we have fully customized. We spent a lot of time customizing things. That was fun. Yeah. And just, nope, done. File's done. Can't do anything about it. No one has said anything about it online. So I assume it's either a new bug or people, again, just like in Madden, I wonder how many people actually play franchise mode to find these bugs. Right. Um, maybe we're one of the few people that likes playing this way. I don't know. Yeah. So whatever, we restart. We go back and do it again. And this is the part that really peeves me off, is that you have to go back through and rebuild everything. It's not just like a create a team portion. Well, where... what I don't know is if, if we... See, because we were creating the teams through going through the normal setup. What if we just went to create a team and not, like, just, like, create oh, a player? The, okay. May, is there a create a team? I don't know. There is create a player. So I'm, well, I'm thinking right, if there's a create a team separate from it, we can just load our create a team. That would be nice. And so that's something but, we could probably check out. Right. But whatever. We, at we this, didn't, po- we didn't at this point in it. time, we didn't I'm know mad we're at... We're mad. I'm mad at so the zoom, fact we that... we zoom through creating things. Our jerseys aren't as cool. Our stadiums aren't as cool. Whatever. 
We just want to get back to simulating because reality is we don't know how many years away we are from even getting into the playoffs. Right. Although, I mean, the first time around, I went all the way to the championship game somehow with a team of scrubs, yeah. team of veteran yeah. scrubs, but whatever. I don't know how that happened. The Eastern Conference was just bad. Yeah. So somehow I got past Boston and the Cavs and, and, yep. and yep. Toronto and any other good team in the – Yep. My, my best player, I think, did I have a Baca that year? I think No, I traded him. So yeah. I didn't even have a Baca, right. so I had no one over over. I think he had JJ. JJ Redick. I think he had JJ Redick. Yeah. yeah, okay, my best player was a 78. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, and I went to the finals. And I took the finals to seven games. Yes, you did. And then lost. But yep. it is what it is. Uh, so, whatever. So we're having fun, fun the second time around again, kind of. You know, we get to – it, it kind of sucks because uh, when you start it up again, it's basically exactly what it was before. Um, the only way that we can change it up is there is an ability to do an overall. I, I think there was an ability to do an overall fantasy draft like in like in the NFL. I've yep. just never turned it on, so that's always something we do. Like we do normal normal rosters, and then we'll do like a fantasy draft eventually once we get bored with that. But so we're ha- we're having fun. We get to the off season. Things are going fine. I have the best off season I think I've ever had. I literally set up my team completely different, so I would have over a hundred million cap space. So I got my Kevin Durant. I got my Chris Bosh. I got a bunch of good players. Yeah, you got like. F- you had five, had exactly five, five starters. Five starters. Five um, two amazing whole, two starters. Two starters were just okay, yeah. but that's just whatever. Yeah. I, I, I got Greg Monroe. I got, uh, I, I had, yeah, Greg Monroe, Chris Bosh, and Kevin Durant Wright. were my, my big three. Yeah. Um, and then I had two guys that were younger but pretty decent, you know, 76, 77 plus at their position. Uh, so I was really happy. You did some finagling. Uh, your roster didn't change that much. But, again, you're going to youth movement. Right. That's what you do. Right. So it takes, like, four years, but you can eventually have all your guys in the 80s and be dominating, be the books. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. Two different methods to build things. We're going fine. Get the summer league again. This time, instead of another team having an issue, I don't have enough players on my summer league round because I only signed five guys. Well, I did go and sign some backups. Yes, yes. But they were all, you know, some of them were older or whatever. So there yeah, are yeah. guys that you would put in summer league. But whatever, get to it. No, I don't have enough guys for my summer league team. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, can I set my summer league roster? No, you cannot. Yep. Here we are again, except this time it's my fault for not having enough players on my team. So I'm like, what, should I just sign my – should I just draft rookies every year and just never play them just so they're on my summer league roster? Get right, yeah. (coughs) Cut that out. (laughs) But it's just – it's really frustrating – that it happened again, and this time it, it was my fault for not having enough players. And I'm like, I, right, but there's no way to. Why can't I set my summer league roster? Right, exactly. I would have just sent down like Zaza Pachulia or one of my veterans. Like, who cares? Yeah, go down there and dominate these scrubs. I don't give a crap. Right. <laughs> so it's it just it was very frustrating to have this game breaking bug happen in two different scenarios because the, we, the second time we turned off injuries. Like, screw yep. it. Injury's done. We're not going to risk a, a computer guy ha- having an injury and not having enough people on the roster. Nope, that wasn't injury this time. It was just, I literally didn't have, I mean, it gave me the same error message, but it really wasn't that I had an injury. It's, I just didn't have enough people. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I went, and that might have been true for, for Houston, too. Maybe they didn't have really have an injury. That's just the only error message the game has when you don't have enough Well, players. yeah, considering we didn't even see an injury on and the I don't have list and either. We knew for, specifically for our teams, at least, you could not get injured. Yeah. So, like, uh, there's no way you can get injured. Right. So, since there's no way to get injured in the game, it obviously wasn't an injury, but that's just the only error message they have when you only have seven people. Right. So, I'm like, this is just so infuriating. Mm-hmm. And it made me realize, and I was thinking about this last night as I was falling asleep, I'm like, you know what? I just think NBA 2K18, with all of the issues I've had with it on Switch, and apparently all these, and I don't know if this happens, maybe this doesn't happen on the other versions. I don't, don't know. know. But... I think NBA 2K18 is just the buggiest NBA game I've played. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, actually yeah. want to try out NBA Live 18 now and see if these bugs are there. Or, or you know, their own game-breaking bugs. Because if mm-hmm. they don't exist, then I'm almost ready to be done with 2K basketball games because this is how frustrating it is. Right. And I'm going to go complain, and I'm going to go submit it to support and pray to God they patch it. They probably won't. No, probably not. Just like Madden, they don't care. They already got my money. Yep. Um, and this is, this is before we get into the fact that NBA 2K18, not, if you didn't think it was the worst NBA game because of, uh, or the worst 2K NBA game because of the bugs or the frame rate drops and all this stuff, uh, they took a lot of the game and turned it into a microtransaction city Worse than they've ever done before. Uh, you play my career mode, you might as well just stop. Even if it works perfectly, just stop. You have to spend like seven grand to get to a 99. 
Like, it's just not worth it. So it's very frustrating uh, because they catch you in that catch-22. You can earn your VC for free, but to earn your VC for free, you have to play the games with your My Creative Player, and you have to do really, 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 really well in the games. But you can't do really, really well in the teams because your player starts off as a 60 overall. Not even a 70, a 60 overall. So you're just like one of the Ouch. worst players in the NBA who's even getting a, a touch of, of playing time, and you're only getting like a minute a game because you suck and you shouldn't be playing. Right. <laughs> So you're barely playing as is, and then you're supposed to be impressive in there. But you can't make any shots. You can't make any dunks. You can pass if the guy is completely wide open, but then you might throw it over his head because you suck. You suck. <laughs> you can't play defense. You can't do anything. You suck. So got to spend money so you can get VC, so you can become good. And I'm sure there's eventually a happy medium. You get up to like 85. Maybe you now you're making enough VC. But here's the thing. If you're doing it all without spending any money, because they always say you never have to buy VC. You can get to a 99 without doing it. I actually call bullshit on that yeah because as you're playing in the my career mode I've, I've been finding out you're progressing through these games and your player gets older every season so if i'm sucking and mm-hmm. i'm sucking and i'm continuing to suck and i slowly creep my way up to a 70 i'm like 30 years old by the time i hit a 70 no yeah right no so, I don't care if you're the best 2K player in the world. There are players that, that can probably perform better than I do because they know all the controls better. That's fine. I'm sorry, you're a 60. You're not getting all the way to the end without spending money. Mm-hmm. So road to 99. It's more like road to eating up my yearly salary. And, mm-hmm. and what makes me mad about it, it's not so much that it has microtransactions. I mean, Madden has microtransactions, right? Yeah. In Madden Ultimate Team, but they reward you a, a, a lot. Like they give you free players, like every you know every day or every week, just for yeah. logging into it. So you can get like a free Ray Lewis or free Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. Like like they they keep it competitive. And when you play, if your team isn't super super good, they just keep you playing against teams that are as good as your team, right? Right. So like, and that's just building the team. So it's different. And, and NBA 2K has that as well. And that doesn't seem too bad. But the fact that it's littered in my career mode, it's like this is a single player mode. That's ridiculous. So, anyways, bottom line, NBA 2K18, I'm not going to apologize for crapping on it anymore. Yeah. I'm sorry. I want to love it. It has so much in that I right. want to love. Right. They just oh, no, keep for sure. screwing me over every time right. I start right. to enjoy oh, the no. game. That, yeah, it was disappointing. Very, very disappointing. <sighs> so, we're going to transition quickly into something Reggie said. <laughs> and... That's because I just I'm tired. Of, I don't want to. I don't even want to play NBA 2K18. If you guys see NBA 2K18 footage on um, on our channel moving forward, it's probably old footage because I don't even yeah. want to play anymore. Well, um, it, the only thing I could ever think of to play it again is to get that bug caught on film to send in to them, saying, "Hey, yeah. look, this is what happens." Yeah, no, in our luck, here's when this. We're trying, when we're trying to do, we'll start catching it'll, it'll, every, it'll work. every off everything will work. work. Yeah. Like, well, that's the key then. Yep. The key is you Apparently must be just recording, recording everything. Yeah. They know you're watching, so yes. they said no. They, 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 they're probably watching you, and then you're pushing across small <laughs> fixes. Oh, God. you got to wear tinfoil hats, man. Well, that's happening. That's happening. I'm like, oh, t- time to end, end the video. Dude, I just hit start, and I went. <laughs> 